Well, some additional thoughts now for For Your Eyes Only by J. Cole. And as I was sitting here, I was looking at the track list. I was thinking about what I was going to say and my notes and what have you. It crossed my mind. This album just might meet my criteria for a 10. My criteria for a 10 being no skips. Pretty straightforward there. I can listen to it at any time. Checks that box for sure. And then the final one, the hardest hurdle always is I don't want to turn the album off until it finishes. Meaning I don't want to listen to it halfway and then switch it out and all this other stuff. And you know, no skips obviously is a huge part of that. <laughs> um, but with this album being 10 songs, 44 minutes, and my favorite song being For Your Eyes Only coming at the end, and that being nine minutes, and really She's Mine Part 2 is so beautiful with the strings and the sounds and everything and like how the story's going. Basically, it, yeah, I don't, I don't want to turn it off until it's over. So I think technically by my standard, by my criteria, this album exists as a 10. Now, everyone's got their own standards for what a 10 is, uh, but that's mine. Um, what's interesting for me and my standard of a 10 is if an album is a 10, it doesn't necessarily mean I listen to it all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean I want to listen to it all the time. I can. That's why that's part of my criteria. Like if somebody puts it on, I'm not going to say, no, 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 not that. You know, I think if somebody put this on at any time, I'd be like, yeah, I'm cool with this one. This album for me has another special little quirk in it too, where it feels like I can cheat listening to rap. Um, and by that, I mean, there's a lot of music I listen to like metal and rock and stuff like that when... You know, maybe people are over, they're visiting, they're not really into the metal scene or the hard rock scene, but there's a couple albums I can slip on that are a little bit harder, but not so hard that people will go, oh, could we listen to something else? You know, basically it's not scaring the hose. <laughs> it's rock, but it doesn't scare the hose. <laughs> and For Your Eyes Only, for me, fits into that slot for hip hop. Like, I know a lot of people who, you know, in my life, friends and family and stuff, they don't really listen to rap. They don't, I don't know if they have, have a problem with it, but it's not something they put on. But I feel like this album is just chill enough, but it still has some great rapping, has great flow, good beats, etc. where I can listen to rap around other people who don't really want to listen to rap and no one's really going to complain about this one. So that's kind of cool as well. Um... Overall, I really enjoyed this album. And, and I knew back when I listened to 2014 Forest Hills Drive over a year ago, and I learned about J. Cole and you know who he is as a person and the things that he cares about and what he focuses on. I was like, you know, I, I like J. Cole. I like his style. And this has like won me over twice as much just because it shows. You know, it shows the type of person who he is, what he cares about, etc. cetera. Um, the story behind this album and how... It's about his friend who passed and, you know, doing this essentially as a note to his daughter. And but then also how it probably runs a parallel in his own life and the things that he's focusing on. And, you know, I played the song Folding Clothes for my wife and she, of course, loved it. She did not listen to the album. She asked me what the album was about. I explained it like 30 percent of the way through. And she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to. No, no. <laughs> it was already too sad for it to be explained to her so she didn't really listen to it although i did play it last night i don't know how much she was paying attention but uh it's a great album it really is a great album favorite songs four guys only for sure love change uh deja vu's fucking great neighbors i really like neighbors which throws me off a little bit because the beat on neighbors isn't really something i want to say i don't get into but i do like it but i feel like i shouldn't like it like that beat kind of exists in an area where I don't typically go in terms of beat and production, but I really like Neighbors. I did see the video, the, the security footage of the cops raiding his house and busting down the door. That one dumbass busting down the door that leads outside. <laughs> oh my God. And then of course, you know, the same shit's happening with Afro Man. I guess he had his house raided, what, back in December or some shit. And then he used the video footage to make music videos to make fun of the cops and now the cops are suing him because oh we're it, it's an embarrassing look for us yeah it should be fucking embarrassing for you because you raided a guy's house and found nothing 
Just like fucking J. Cole. Huh. Frustrating. That whole shit is so frustrating. And it's not even me, you know, experiencing it. It's just, it's the fact that it's a real thing that happens multiple times. Very annoying. Very annoying, to put it mildly. Um, in terms of J. Cole, you know, there's something neat about his style. He's a great rapper. He's got great flow, good lyrics, but also just... I, you know, there's a lot of people who said this album is, you know, it's boring, it's, they're not into it, and, and I get that, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but in terms of J. Cole himself, his style, I like how he presents everything. You know, one of the things I still struggle with, even though I've been listening to, you know, over 100 albums now, is when there's like lots of double meanings and references and things I don't understand, and it, it makes it a lot more complicated to, to get to the meat of the subject. And J. Cole does a good job, I feel like, of of being straightforward while also keeping some good wordplay in the mix, good rhyming structure in the mix. I like his flow uh, so much so that it reminded me, oh shit, you know, I really love Jid and his flow. So I threw on the Forever Story the other night. I was like, fucking A, man, this guy's crushing it too. Um, I really hope J. Cole's got a, a retirement album coming because if that happens, I will definitely jump on that in real time and react to it in real time. I feel like that'll probably be a huge album. Everyone's going to want to pay attention to it and hear it and hear what J. Cole has to say. Um, yeah. And then the final thing, I suppose, you know, I saw the, the, the memes and the videos about how it's a personal album and J. Cole stands, you know, getting all defensive about it and stuff. But listening to this, because it's so chill, because it's about a guy, you know, who's shifting his life and his mindset from being this young, badass kind of player, gangster type of person into someone who's essentially turning into a family man. I can get why people don't enjoy that, you know, like especially if you're wanting to listen to something that's a little bit more up tempo, high energy. Obviously, this is not that album. <laughs> you're not going to find that here. But, you know, having listening to this. Listening to No Thank You last week, Scaring the Hose the week before. One thing I really enjoy about this, even if you're not into the album itself or not, hopefully you can appreciate that he made something that he cares about. You know, obviously his goal was not make to not to make a bunch of club bangers and, and radio hits, although I assume some of the stuff was on the radio. I don't know, but I never listened to the radio. I just love when an artist can have the space and the freedom and hopefully the support from their label or whoever. Although I think Dreamville is his label. So that probably gives him a lot of fucking freedom. <laughs> but just the ability to make something that they care about. Because it's just, it seems like anytime that happens, we all benefit from it. And even if you're not into it, hopefully you can appreciate what's happening within the album. You know, the song Folding Clothes, it has the least amount of listens here according to Spotify. And I can see why people find it cheesy and corny and, and what have you. But to me, in my opinion, where it is in the album and the function that it's serving as the story, it's brilliant. You know, it's the guy finally realizes what he cares about in life and what he wants to focus on and pay attention to and divert all of his energy toward the person he loves. And that's great. You know, and that's what makes it so sad. That last fucking line, you know, he's he's gone. He, J. Cole is basically telling the story of his friend who passed and for his daughter. And, you know, he's the real one because he loved you. It, it hits every every time, even just talking about it. Right. Like I'm already like, oh, geez, here we go. It hits, man. It hits because it's real. That's what it to me is so touching about it. It's real. It really fucking matters. There you go. There you go. I mean, not a whole lot of detail, not a whole lot to say, I suppose, but I just really enjoyed it. I think it's a fantastic album. I It will not be 14 months before I do another J. Cole, okay? I apologize, J. Cole fans. It will not be 14 months. That's way too long between albums. Uh, hopefully, we get a new one from him soon. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow, Thursday, no Buag, but there will be a live stream, but it's a surprise. It's a secret. I, I can't even really tell you a whole lot because some of the finer details still haven't been nailed down in terms of what time it's going to happen, if it's going to happen on YouTube or if it's going to happen on Twitch. But uh, pay attention if you can online. You'll start seeing buzz. We're going to start uh, trickling out some little fun leaks and hints and what have you soon. And if you miss the stream, 
there will be uh, I think you'll be able to watch it afterwards so even if you miss the actual live stream you can watch it afterwards and then maybe some extra stuff on Friday I'm not positive in terms of my Friday reaction that will be run the jewels three uh, I've actually already recorded that and posted that and scheduled that so that will just roll out because I'm gonna be away from all my recording equipment this weekend to uh, facilitate this mystery surprise <laughs> that I'm hinting at and uh, yeah Hope you guys take care and we'll see you soon.